You know, right now is one of my favorite times to go fishing. Everyone's in hunting mode. Well, I rightfully would be too, but I just, when I get these days, you know, we've had a lot of big wind days in a row. It's only 40 degrees today tops for a high, but the wind is manageable with this mid, I'd say mid 40s degree water. Uh, one of the big things that I like to do is move water, but you have to do it slow. So I like to use a bait. The fish are, they're feeding up. This is Northern Minnesota, smallmouth bass, glacial fishing. They're gonna feed up and they're looking for big baits this time of year to get through a long winter. And I'm gonna use that against them. I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna move water, I'm gonna locate them. And these schools should be getting real big. Late fall, smallmouth bass, check it out. Just a slight knock in the water right now. Ooh. From the residual waves. That's kind of making us a little louder than I'd like to be. That one. I mean, how slow can you move it? Yep. Just a perfect setup for it. Seven and a half foot rod, medium action. Medium action. Let the bait, let them load up on the swim bait. And Luton, no. Luton, just a, just a nice little one. No. Right there, first bite of the day tells us something. How slow can you move it? I mean, that's a perfect example right there, how less is more this time of year. They don't exhaust a lot of calories just to pick up a few by moving long distances and stuff like that to be able to get their bait. You know, they want it to come to them, they're looking for something big. It's just a matter of time before we tangle into a big one. All right, yeah, let me catch up to him. Must be a really small one. Oh, I can't catch him. No, he's a nice one, just couldn't catch him. Wow. No, we can They're crawling around down there like mad. They're all up under the trail. Ah, I can see them. Got a football jig here. We might go a buck wild on the roller. I mean, I can see them. They're not doing a lot of following. I got a couple under the boat here and there, but they've seemed super hard to catch. But maybe they're more under the crawdad just right away. Oh boy. Roller jigged in the face. Oh, that could be a big one. Yeah, it sure feels like a big one. Oh boy. Oh, that's a giant. I really wish I had a net. That is a giant. I really wish I had a net. Come here. Come here. Got you. Look at that one. You know, that right there is one of the more realistic keys to an active target. I see everything. 100 feet, I'm in 10, 12, 13 feet right now looking out shooting out to 100 and these things are tight to the bottom they're eating crawdads so i threw them a big jig something again something big you know and their flavor switches up all the time i'm gonna grab a quick weight for this one i have a feeling this one might make our final that's a long fish oh, there we go 529 we'll save that one let's try to get out there and catch it yeah. One thing that I'm noticing right now is not a lot of pressure out here on the lake. The water's getting super clear again, and I'm still relatively shallow. The waves on the other side of the lake are much more big than they are here, which is one reason why we're here. We just can't be getting sprayed with 40 degree water all day in the face and expect to be, <laughs> be alive long to even catch bass. But we've got some residual waves here. So a lot of these residual waves are making the boat a little noisy, real clean, clear water. The fish can see a long way and we got all sun right now. So we're casting a shadow where we're at uh, until they prove me otherwise, and I'll keep them honest. I'm gonna keep trying to make long casts and just hit them old fashioned, really more so using that active target just to kind of see what's ahead. Oh, that's so big. That was sick. Oh. Stay. 
That is fun. I love hunting season, but this is awesome. That's a big one too. Jeez. That's a big one too, isn't it, Scam? Right in the side of the face. Stay on there. Stay on there. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> Another one. Nice one. Super fun to catch. Big old belly. This fish just should be a three pounder, but he's actually a four. But still, he ain't gonna make our end team. Not at the end of today. So I'm not even gonna weigh him. Let's put him back. See ya. They seem to be wanting to eat crawdads. Bigger profile. So I'm gonna go to a, a trusty 872 NRX Plus. A quarter ounce. Oh, cast tackle, perfect net head. And full size Sakoshi. So I'm gonna just get it to their face a little quicker. There seems to be nothing finesse about it. Keep it glued to the bottom this time of year. Let's see if we can't get it with that. They're all around the boat right now. You know, that's something right there that I want to discuss real quick and why there isn't more discussions on it. And that's using a 4,000 size reel, particularly a Shimano 4000. This is a Shimano 4000 x -Sense. One of my favorite reels ever, actually my favorite spinning reel of all time. But with how much we're utilizing active target, moving around, doing some fishing, but also keeping constant watch of my surroundings around me and fish just show themselves especially smallmouth they love to come and check out the boat follow baits in and honestly there's just so many reasons why i think you'd want to use a 4000 over a 2500 or the more popular 2500 3000 sizes is uh, one i can cast further and i can cast more accurately because there's less revolutions that my line has to come off of the spool bigger wider because of that 4000 spool but most importantly with active target now i'm constantly looking at my surroundings around me paying attention for fish especially with smallmouth bass they love to sneak up from behind the boat they love to come and look at the boat follow the baits in and i all of a sudden boom i got two four pounders like that in my face and i can get a ned rig to them i need to be able to reel in quicker so a faster gear ratio quicker pickup on a spinning reel is super duper important this day this day and age where we're using forward sonar as much as we are and just trying to be opportunistic bass anglers when we're out there we're trying to be opportunistic we're trying to keep a, a bait in front of a fish that we see sometimes we get the bite definitely check out a 4000 size reel this one right here just knows my bait don't need to see it just need to feel it There he is. Gotcha. 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 Get over here, you big girl. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Beauty. In the mouth. Took it. Wait a minute. That is a two rod hook. Perfect net head. Sakoshi bug. Big smallmouth. 